Here is a RAT ECG that was recorded. To analyze the data, we go to Advanced ECG Analysis Offline Calculations. First thing is we can choose what channel that we want to analyze. Then we can choose whether we want a selection as above, the current block, or the complete file. Let's do current block. Going to the Settings tab, we can load a preset for detection. From there, we can modify the average, typical QRS width, pre-P baseline, maximum PR, maximum RT, and cycle duration, which will change to 300. For the QT interval correction for heart rate, we have various formulas that are available. We can set the height of where to measure. We can set our isoelectric line. And you can also check the P wave may be larger than the R wave and if it's an inverted T wave. To account for stabilizing of the recording, you can ignore so many seconds. We hit calculate. And you can see above, we did not pick up all of the cycles. To adjust for that, we can raise the sensitivity higher. Hitting calculate again, you'll see we have more cycles that have been detected. Here are all the groups and the cycles in each group. On the right, the black line is each cycle. The red is the average and the gray are the others. We can stretch the scaling. Going over to artifact removal, we can adjust the high and the low for rate, our amplitude, activity, noise, and the minimum. They can each be plotted against each other. And the current cycle parameters are shown for each cycle. If we plot that out, the dot shows each cycle. If we want to remove the cycles on the left here, we move our box, hit calculate. They're now red, and they've been included in the outliers. If we move our box back to pick them back up, hit calculate, and we can also make manual adjustments. Under the detection algorithms, we can do some finer tuning. We go over and choose View Average ECG Graph. And now we can adjust our end and our beginning. We get those parameters. Hit Calculate. And each group utilizes that change. Bringing up our table here, here are all the calculations for all of the different groups and cycles. We can copy them, export them. We can look at the algorithms. There are table options of what columns to show. And we can load and save templates. If there's a particular cycle we're interested in, we can click the sync button and it'll go into the recording where that is located. Finally, we can choose Export Average Data. Save it out. And now you can import it into your favorite spreadsheet for your own specialized analysis.